I'm sure everyone has their gold rolls that they're looking out for, but guys, I need to alarm you about one weapon that may not be on your radar that you should definitely start farming for now. And this is the new Brave Arsenal version of the Falling Guillotine. Now, when I tell you I haven't stopped farming for the Fallen Guillotine ever since I saw this multiple days ago, I am seriously not joking. However, just a few hours ago, I luckily enough got the semi-gold roll with the two perks I wanted, but it doesn't exactly have the right blade that I wanted. So, unlucky for me, it's not shiny, but it is a 4 out of 5 god roll. All it's missing is around 3 impact. Now, the two perks you want to look out for is Frenzy and also Surrounded. Yes, you can get both of these perks on this weapon, which is a double damage boosting perk combination. Both of these perks give you extra damage. Jumping over into D2 Foundry here, looking at the Frenzy perk, this grants you a 15% damage increase for 7.2 seconds. It also grants you 100 handling and 100 reload speed. Frenzy is probably the easiest perk to proc and actually activate as well, which makes it extremely easy for a sword. And the next perk is Surrounded. Now with swords, as it says here, this actually only increases it by 35%, but if you pair these two together, that is a flat 50% damage buff to this sword. Obviously, the way you play with a sword is you get up and close with the boss, so having Frenzy and Surrounded on a sword is probably the two best perks that you can get, and 50% damage boost is the highest damage combination that you can get in the game on any weapon. Now, let's take a look at the Fallen Guillotine's competition, the Bequest. As we may or may not know, the Bequest is the current highest damage dealing sword in the game because it has the highest impact rating and it can also roll with Surrounded. Now, if we take a look at both of these and compare the both of them, the Bequest can get a total of 78 impact if you have the perfect god roll, which you probably will because this gun is craftable. Now, the Fallen Guillotine can only get 68 if you get lucky and you get Jagged Edge in the first column, which I unfortunately didn't. So the only main difference here besides the perks is around 10 impact, but that is where having Frenzy on Fallen Guillotine makes up for this. So let's jump into what you're all waiting to see, the damage testing. So to test both of the damage on these swords, I headed into the Warlords of Ruin dungeon and damaged the first boss. Now to keep all of my tests simple and accurate, all I used was reserve mods on the chest piece and stand in a Will of Radiance. That is all that was used here. There was no debuffing or any surge mods on the boots. Here is the footage of my best performance with the highest damage that I pulled out on the boss. The best damage that I could get out of the Fallen Guillotine was 1.9 million damage. Moving over onto the Bequest, here is also the best footage and the highest damage that I could pull off. ending in at around 1.5 million damage. This makes the Fallen Guillotine do around 400,000 more damage on a short damage phase. Just imagine how much more this could do on a longer damage phase and you're taking advantage of the full ammo reserves. So if you take into consideration debuffing the boss and actually proccing surge mods, this sword would actually do a ridiculous amount of damage. So yes, I am pretty ecstatic to have this god roll fallen guillotine and I definitely recommend you guardians get out there and also try and get this weapon as well. This sword is the new best and highest damage dealing sword in the entire game, full stop. Unless Bungie brought out a completely new sword with something else on it, there is nothing that's going to come close to this anytime soon. So seriously, seriously, try and get your hands on one of these god rolls. But anyway, Guardians, that will wrap the video up there. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to drop a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.